What's up guys, it's Ken, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to I'm Kenneth Castro, where I do lifestyle and fashion videos. And yes, I'm sorry, it's been about six to seven months since the last time that I've uploaded a video, but life has been super crazy. I haven't been that motivated to create content here on YouTube, so that is the reason why I've taken so long to upload a new video. With that said, I am back with a new video. This is gonna be a fun one. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not know that I was on vacation in New York City the past week. I spent 11 days in New York and I had the most fantastic time. I went on the trip with my sister and my cousin and we had such a great vacation. So for today's video, I really wanted to share with you guys the things that I bought in New York. So you guys know me, I'm a shopaholic, I love shopping, and I love sharing all the things that I buy here with you guys in this channel. So yeah, for today's video, we're going to be doing a try on haul. If you guys are interested in seeing all the things that I bought, then definitely stick around for more. And if you guys are interested in watching the whole adventure of me in New York, please subscribe to my vlog channel, which is called Lost in Paradise by I'm Kenneth Castro. It's gonna be linked down below. So like I said, I'm a shopaholic. I bought a lot of things in this trip. Not so much like in my past trip to Texas, where I literally went crazy buying everything that I saw. This time, I didn't buy that much. And I actually didn't go with that much money on this trip. I was fortunate enough to be able to go on this trip because my sister actually paid everything for me. And I'm so grateful, so eternally grateful for her. So shout out to my sister because if it wasn't for her, I would have not been able to go and I would have not been able to pretty much buy anything. Also for this trip, I really wasn't focusing on buying clothing because I do buy a lot of clothes and I have so much clothes I don't really need any more clothes so you are gonna notice that I barely didn't buy any clothing so let's jump right into this haul I'm gonna show you the first few things that I bought which was art so if you guys don't know I am an artist I paint and I draw and I do digital art I do graphic design and I love supporting other artists and especially local artists and small businesses so now every trip that I do I like to find local artists and support them and buy a painting or something like that so that is exactly what I did one of the days that we were walking out of our Airbnb in New Jersey on our way to the train station they had a little flea market it was super nice they had a whole bunch of vendors selling all sorts of things and there was this lady selling her art and I fell in love with her art she had a lot of abstract art and a lot of paintings done with watercolors which I love and I found one that I really liked and so I purchased it so this was one of the first purchases that I made in this trip and it's a painting an abstract painting with a whole bunch of colors I love when paintings are super colorful so this was really just up my alley and the artist her name is Blanche Eden you can follow her on Instagram also the day that we went to the Met after leaving the Met we were gonna walk towards Central Park and that little road leading up to Central Park was lined up with vendors selling new and used books selling paintings and souvenirs and stuff like that and I found people selling really cool paintings and art so I had to support and I had to get something New York related so I got this one and I love this one. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. So I got this one, which is like an old cover of The New Yorker, which I think was a magazine in New York City. And it's just super dope. I love the colors. I love the yellow and the black and the contrast. And I just really, really like it. It reminded me a lot of the painting that I got when I went to Texas a few months ago. So yeah, another one for my art collection. In that same sidewalk, I also found another art vendor and he was selling other graphics just like the other one that I bought and this one is also from The New Yorker and I love it. It's New York City, it has the taxi cabs and it's New York City in the fall which I love autumn, I love falls and this time I was fortunate enough to go in the falls, well in the start of fall in New York and I got to see the leaves falling off the trees which was super nice and those autumn colors which I love. So something that I didn't know about New York City, visiting there the second time, 
I really noticed this because we got to do a lot more touristy things. All the places that we went that are touristy have super big gift shops, which I love. So we went to the Statue of Liberty and they have such a nice gift shop there and I had to buy a New York City notebook. So I haven't even opened this, it's still wrapped in the paper. Um, this was $14 and I really love it. It's like an old vintage um, graphic on the front and the back. It's super nice and I love stationery. I love notebooks. I buy too many notebooks and I use them all. So I'm super happy that I bought this. Also in that store, I bought some vintage stickers, which were super cool. I have never seen anything like this. It's a little box, a little tin box with 24 pages of stickers, which is super cool. And this came out in, I don't remember because I already opened this and I took the wrapper off, but it wasn't that expensive. I think it was $12 for 25, I mean 24 pages of stickers and they're super cool as you can see right here they're all vintage and just like the notebook so I have to get it something that I love buying when I go to New York City and when I visit a new place in general is buying postcards so I'm obsessed with buying postcards I don't know what is it about postcards that I absolutely love collecting them I have a whole bunch of postcards that I bought um, postcards that my friends buy me because they know that I like postcards so every time that they travel they send me a postcard which is super dope of them so this time I bought five postcards I bought another one but I already sent it out to a friend um, but yeah I bought this Empire State Building postcard and then these four I don't remember where I bought any of these because New York is filled with gift shops and in every gift shop they have deals for postcards like buy five for a dollar that's how cheap they are so I bought these I think these were a dollar each because they're vintage postcards so just like the notebook and the vintage stickers these are vintage as well and I love these I don't think I'm gonna be giving these out because I love them so much but if I ever do give them out then that person's really lucky because they got themselves a vintage postcard from New York City. I also bought this license plate which says Ken. I couldn't find my full name. I couldn't find Kenneth. So I got this one. It says New York Ken Empire State. I love this. I love I've, I've been getting into collecting license plates as well and I put them up on my door. So this is gonna go up there really cool I do not remember how much this was I think it was less than five dollars maybe a dollar I really can't remember it was super inexpensive so by now I think that you guys must know that I'm an addict for buying books so I love reading I love books I have a ton of books here in my room and I bought nine more books in New York so Bear with me, I'm gonna show you guys all of them. So the first book that I bought was this one. It's called Pretty City, New York. Discovering New York's beautiful places. So this book, I got it at The Edge. The Edge is a new observation deck in New York City. It's one of the newest ones. It's an outdoor observation deck. It has this really ginormous balcony hanging off the building with a glass floor and glass walls and it has no roof. Like it's literally, you are in the clouds. It is amazing. I went there that day, sadly, it was raining and there was a lot of mist. So when we went up there, it, we were literally in the clouds and we could see nothing. We couldn't see literally nothing of the city. We were just like surrounded by clouds, which was still pretty cool. Anyways, they have a really cool gift shop and I got this book. This book is about New York City and it's amazing places and buildings and coffee shops and stores and it's just really cool it has like a whole bunch of photography inside of New York which I love because that is also something that I'm passionate about I'm passionate about um, photography and architecture and this book is literally the best of both worlds and this one came out in I don't remember because the price in the back it's in pounds I don't know why it's in pounds and not in dollars um, it says 25 pounds I don't really remember how much it was. 
it wasn't that expensive for the size of the book and for it being hardcover. I'm really excited to read this. So if you guys watched my Texas vlogs a couple months ago in my second channel, Lost in Paradise, um, you guys will know that I got a membership card at Barnes and Nobles. Here in Puerto Rico, we don't have Barnes and Nobles, but I love buying books. And at Barnes and Nobles, they gave me a great deal where I could get free shipping on all my orders through the website. So that's why I really got the Barnes and Nobles membership card. Since I do travel to the States, fairly a lot. Um, I went to Barnes & Nobles this time and I got two books. So I got this one which I, I had seen in Texas and I really wanted to buy but I had already bought too many books and I just said I'll buy it next time. That's exactly what I did. Um, I got this one which is called The Thursday Murder Club. It looks really interesting. It's about murders and investigation and detective and I love books like that so I'm really excited to read this one. And I found out that this author came out with a second book and I had to get it as well. This one is the newest one from him. I think this one came out this year and this one is called The Man Who Died Twice, A Thursday Murder Club Mystery. So I'm super excited to read both of these. And yeah, this one is hardcover. Um, this one, the paperback one, came out in $17 and then um, the hard cover one came out in $26 so yeah two more murder mystery books added to my collection so for the first time we went to the Chelsea market I had never been there and I loved it I bought so many things there which I am gonna be showing you guys during this video but I am gonna continue showing you the books so in the Chelsea market they have a bookstore I don't remember what's it called but it's one of the best bookstores that I've ever been to they have so many things, it's not that big, but they have a great variety of books and the books that they have are really good too. So, I got some more poetry books. Um, you guys know I love poetry, I love a good poetry book. So I bought this one that is called Nocturnal by Wadler and I'm so excited to read this one. This one came out in $15. And then I also got another book by Young Pueblo, one of my favorite poets. And this one is called Clarity and Connection. And this one came out in $17. I'm super, super, super excited to read this one. I got some more mystery books because I love a good mystery. So I got this one that I had also seen it in Texas. And I didn't buy it because like I said, I had already too many books to buy. So this one is called they Wish They Were Us. It looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of like Pretty Little Liars, which I don't hate because I love Pretty Little Liars. So this one came out in $10. Great price. I also bought another one. I don't really remember what's it about, but I think it's like kind of mystery-like. It's called We Were Liars and it looks really good. This one came out in $10 as well. So it looks like a fun read to be honest. Um, I bought this one which is called Normal People, a novel by Sally Ronnie. There's a Hulu series about it that I have to look up because it looks really interesting. Um, this one is more of a novel, it's not really a mystery, it's more drama. So I'm also excited to read this one, this one came out in $17. And the last book that I bought, it's another mystery book because I love a good mystery. This one is called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I. I'm very excited to read this one. It looks, it sounds so, so interesting. This one came out in $10 as well. Another thing that I love collecting are pins. So I bought a lot of pins, about like 10 pins. I'm gonna be showing you here on camera. I'm not gonna hold them up because they're not, it's not gonna focus here. But I bought a lot, a lot of pins from everywhere. So, so I'm just gonna give you a view of all of them. Okay, so one of my favorite things about New York is going to Chinatown. I love going to Chinatown. Chinatown for me is so much fun. And last time I went to Chinatown once and it was really not enough. And I bought a couple things from Chinatown that last time. But like I said, it wasn't enough. This time, this time Chinatown was definitely 
a better time. We went like four times to Chinatown and every single time we came out with something and it was really just the best time shopping in Chinatown. So, so I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I bought from Chinatown. So I bought this Louis Vuitton bag from Chinatown. By the way, I have no shame in buying fake designer bags or fake designer anything from Chinatown. I love going to Chinatown and supporting the local Chinese people and I love giving them my money and I love getting some cheaper designer bags and designer stuff so no shame I don't really care saying that this is fake and I love it anyways so this is a fake Louis Vuitton bag this came out in hundred dollars I absolutely love it I was looking for a bag when I went to New York I didn't take any bags with me just my normal um, luggage and I really wanted to buy like a backpack or a smaller bag and I found this one which was perfect. I also bought this keychain. It's a really cool keychain in shape of a heart. I noticed that days after I bought it. It's the leaf and I got this one from the New York Botanical Garden which was one of my favorite places in New York. I had never been there and it was such a beautiful place. I can't wait to go there again. So I also got a Louis Vuitton belt and it's actually the matching belt to the bag and I'm obsessed with it. The belt came out in $40. I also bought something else. I had to, I'm sorry, I just had to. So I bought a Gucci shirt in Chinatown and I love it and I do not regret it. And I'm so happy that I bought it. <laughs> so this Gucci shirt, I do not remember how much it came out because the Chinese lady, she gave us a great deal on everything that we bought. We bought so much. Like we bought so much jewelry and the shirt and just everything that she gave us a great deal. And she ended up giving us stuff too, like giving us um, earrings, which I don't wear earrings, but I gave them to my mom. and. It was great, it was a great time. Also in Chinatown, I bought this Cartier ring. So obviously is not a real Cartier ring that you buy from a Cartier store. It's a Cartier ring that you buy from a Chinatown person. So I got this Cartier ring, which I love. It's in gold. I've been wanting a Cartier ring for the longest time. Um, I think it came out in $40 in Chinatown, which was a great deal. I also bought these two other rings, so this one is like a nail, and then this one is covered in diamonds around it. They're both in gold. Um, these two rings, I bought them in a marketplace in Soho. The nail one came out in 45, and then the diamond one came out in 25. And I absolutely love these rings. I love rings, I love jewelry as it is, and I haven't gotten new jewelry in such a long time and then gold jewelry I haven't gotten in even a longer time because I really got into buying a lot of silver but now I'm getting back into buying gold. In that same marketplace in Soho I got this really cool chain and it's actually three chains in one and it came out in $20 which I can't believe it was so cheap for these chains. Um, they're super cool, stainless steel, I've been wearing them so much and I've been wanting something like this for so long, some chains to layer, and these one come together, which is perfect. So going back to Chinatown, some bracelets that I got is this Tiffany & Co one. I love it, it's in gold, and it has these little diamonds on it, dividing every Tiffany & Co. I don't remember the price for that one, because like I said, the lady just gave us a great deal for all of these. And then I also got this Gucci one, which I love, it has the little wasp on it or bee, I don't know, I don't really know what it is, but it has the diamonds, it's in silver, um, I am obsessed with this one. And I got a Louis Vuitton one, silver, this one has the Louis Vuitton logo around it, and the little flowers, 
and it also has this really cool lock on it which I love and just the attention to detail is really cool I I really love it and I also got this one this one I got it at Chelsea Market this was a vendor that was making custom-made jewelry so I decided to make a necklace because I really wanted a necklace so I got this chain with this little charm and it's a paper airplane this came out in $18 for the whole thing and I love it. I haven't taken it off since I bought it, honestly. At a New York gift shop, I bought this shirt and it's just a black shirt and it says New York City on it. And so I got that one and it, and it came out in $20. We also went to the Champion store and I love that New York Champion store in Soho. So they had a great sale on a lot of things and my sister, my cousin, and I, we decided to get matching shirts. So we got these tie-dye shirts, and I got the green one. My sister got the purple one, I think it was, and then my cousin also got the green one. And yeah, so we were matching the last day that we were in New York. It was kind of cool. This one came out, I think it was $20. So for the first time ever, I went to a Buffalo Exchange. I had never heard of that store. A friend of mine suggested for me to go and I fell in love with the store and I bought a couple things. I got these sunglasses, which are super dope. I love the shape of them and I love that they're gold with the black lens. They are super dope. These came out in $8 if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I took the tag off because I already wore them in New York. But yeah, I really, really like them. I also got a pair of jeans and in the perfect wash, these are these are light denim jeans and these are Levi's. They came out in $25. I decided to buy them because they were in my size and I rarely find jeans in my size and they're different too because I don't really buy straight or regular fit jeans. I usually buy slim fit and I wanted to venture out, try something new, so I bought these and I am really loving them. I love the look of them and I'm really excited to be styling these in the future. I also got this shirt and you guys know me, I love wearing shirts like this, like button down shirts, short sleeves that are really flowy and kind of like see-through-ish, not a lot of material to them, they're super fresh especially for the weather here in Puerto Rico. It's very similar to the style of shirt that I'm wearing right now, actually. And yeah, this one came out in $12. And the last thing that I got in Buffalo Exchange is this hat from Vineyard Vines. I love Vineyard Vines. I love that brand. And this one came out in $15, and it's just a red hat. It has a little whale in the front, and then in the back, it's also adjustable. That's why I really bought it, because I only wear adjustable hats. I really, really like this hat. It fits really nice on me. And then I also got some shoes. These shoes were gifted by my cousin. My cousin bought these for me. And these are Converse. I don't know the name of these exactly. They're very different. They're new and they're kind of like a boot Converse. They make me like three inches taller, which I love. And I got them in the color white. I think they came out like in 110 or 120. So those are all the things that I got in my trip to New York City. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all the things that I got. Please comment down below what was your favorite thing that I got. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.